Hello, my name is Nicoletta and we're doing an unhaul today because I'm tired of like kicking these books around to be honest. They're, they're taking up too much space and I've already unhauled them technically because they're off my shelves but I just need to like get them out of my house now, you know? So we're doing this now because I'm tired of it and let's start. So before we begin, most of these books I have read and I just will never read again. I like them or I love them and I just will not read them again and some of these books I have not read and the person that I that I was when I bought them just not the person I am anymore so I'm getting rid of them to make room for books that I want to read now as the person I am now. I'm not going to talk about the books too much because that would be long. I actually don't know how many books I'm unhauling but it's it's a significant amount. I'm going to say at least 20 but not as much as my last unhaul. So let's get started. So first we have Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. I really like this book. I really like the second one. I am going to keep the second one, but when I first read this I really enjoyed it and I just know that I'm not going to reread it. I probably will reread the second book, but I just don't ever see myself rereading this one. But it was it was fun and I really enjoyed it when I read it. Next we have The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young. To be honest, I didn't know this was a sequel. So I actually haven't read this because I don't plan on reading the first book and I just I'm tired of having it around with no plans of reading it anytime soon. So I'm going to get rid of it. If I ever end up reading that first book I will pick this up from the library but I don't I don't need it to be sitting around my house until who knows when. And then we have Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and uh, Jay Kristoff. I forgot who it was. And okay, I liked Illuminae and then I pro progressively did not like the fall the rest of the books in that series. And honestly, I picked this up because it was like 50 cents at my library the week it came out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab it. I kind of fell for the hype a little bit and it was super cheap. And then I've just like moved it around ever since then. So I just don't have any plans of reading this. And I probably shouldn't have picked it up in the first place because I I only liked Illuminae. I didn't like the rest of the other two books. So I don't really care about this book anymore and I'm sure someone is going to love to find this in a little free book library. The Arsonist by Stephanie Oakes. I don't know why I have this. I don't remember buying this. I don't remember anything about this to be honest. I'm not even sure if it's mine. <laughs> so <laughs> either way we're getting rid of it now. Space Opera by Catherine M. Valente. I enjoyed this when I read it in December. It didn't blow me away, but I, I will not reread re this at all. Um, I, I would say if you're a fan of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I would try to pick it up, but there are parts where it's just like too much. Like it was trying too hard to be that, but I think if you like that kind of feeling, try it and pick it up. But I, I didn't I didn't love it enough to want to reread it. Blackfish City by Sam J. Miller. This is another one that I read in December that I really enjoyed but I just will not read it again. I was pleasantly surprised by it. To be honest I didn't know what it was about when I picked it up and I, I ended up really enjoying it. Um, it's a very rich sci-fi I would say like the the settings and the characters are all really fleshed out and it's very interesting and overall a really good read but I will not be reading it again. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I read this in December as well. It was fine. It didn't, it was, it was fine. I, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, but I will not read it again for sure. Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. This was a complete cover buy and I read it last December. So December 2020. It was fine. Some of it was better than others. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> it was just, it's not something I'm ever going to reread again. It's also something that once you know what happens it's not as interesting I think on the second read through but yeah I just it's not anything the cover makes it seem like it's gonna be much cooler than it really is it feels like it's going to be like a really good B movie like a horror B movie but it it just wasn't it was it was it was kind of nothing so it was fine but I'm never gonna reread it again and I don't I get short it doesn't take a wall space but it adds up you know. The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This is something that I was kind of going back and forth about a lot because like with well reading it was great at points and then it kind of lost me and back and forth and back and forth but overall I enjoyed it. It's just again not something I will ever read again. I think I've also decided to just stop buying thrillers like new 
if I buy them they're going to be very discounted or free because I just never reread a thriller. You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. Again, I read this in December. Again, it was fine. Again, I will not read it again. Simmer Down by Sarah Smith. I will never reread this again. I didn't like it in the first place. There was, I really hate the miscommunication trope, trope and this was basically all this was. And it just, it wasn't, I read it in one sitting, but it just wasn't, I didn't enjoy it at all. So I definitely will not be rereading this. Then we have three books in the Red Queen series. Actually, is that what it's called, Red Queen? I feel like it is. It is the Red Queen series uh, by Victoria Aveyard. I haven't read these and I am no longer the person that wants to read these. So I'm going to pass them on to somebody that is more interested in this. And then we have The Bone Season, books one, two, and three. I read the, I read the first book. I didn't really care for it. I decided to DNF the whole series after thinking about it and getting rid of the books that I have. And I learned my lesson to not buy an entire series before you read the first book. Once again, another lesson in not buying the entire series before you read the first book. And that is, I don't even know what the series is called, but the first book is Something Strange and Deadly. Um, and then this is by Susan Dennard. I really like her Witchlands um, series, but this is just not it for me. And I read the first book. I just, yeah, didn't care about it at all. And so we're getting rid of the, the rest of the series. And then finally we have Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. This is something that I've tried to read a couple of times but I can just never get into it. Which is a shame because the concept seems really really cool but I, I've tried so many times and it's not happening so I'm just going to get rid of it. Which is a shame because again the concept is just sounds so good but I just I can't get into it so I'm going to get rid of it. And that's everything from this very quick unhaul. I'm very excited to have my floor space back. I'm going to be just slowly taking these to little free libraries now. I might sell a couple of the newer ones that I know used bookstores are like always looking for. So I might sell some of those but for the most part they're going to uh, little free libraries around my neighborhood. I think there's like five or six of them within walking distance so I'm going to be getting rid of those as I go out. But yeah, I'm very excited to finally have some room again. I took them off my shelves quite a while ago at this point, but they've just been sitting piled up next to the bookshelf, which is like not really helpful. I like to go through my shelves every once in a while just to like get rid of things that I know I'll never reread or have just lost interest in because I'm just a different person now. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.